Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Archer Point Retail Video Blog Series. Today we continue our series of short blogs that address how discounts are applied at the point of sale. In part one of the series, we showed the basics of a cashier giving discretionary line and total discounts at the POS. In this blog, we'll explore using the back office settings to place limits on the discounts that can be given. Adding to our user story from part one, we will add the requirement that cashiers should have limits as to how much discount they can give. The system should be able to assign these limits by groups of cashiers or for an individual cashier. Managers should be able to approve higher discounts, but managers themselves would still have limits. We should also be able to exclude certain items from being discounted. When dealing with cashier permissions, we can specify a maximum discretionary discount that the staff member can give by using a permission group or directly for an individual staff member. In LS Retail, we can define as many permission groups as we feel is manageable. If a staff member is given a different permission value from the group they are assigned to, the system will show both the staff-specific value as well as the value from the permission group. In order for manager overrides, we should define at least two permission groups. Now let's take a look at our back office setup for permission groups and staff. We've set up four permission groups, cashier, senior cashier, manager, store manager, and given them discounts, maximum amounts that they can give at the POS. For a cashier, they're allowed to give a 20% line discount and a total discount of up to 10%. Notice in our staff list, we have cashier with an ID of 12, Jim Smith, who's assigned to the cashier permission group. We also have manager, John Doe, ID 10, who's assigned to the manager permission group. Now let's take a look at how the POS reacts to these maximum of values we assign to the cashier. We've logged on as staff member 12, Jim Smith, who was assigned to the cashier permission group. He had a, line, a maximum line discount of 20%, and we will try to give a 25% discount on this line. And we get a dialogue back saying that the maximum amount that we can give is 20%. So let's give the 20% discount. And you see it reflected here. We know that it's going to limit us to 20% for this next one. But for valid reasons, Jim feels that he needs to give 25% on this line. In this case, we can have the manager log in. Our manager number 10 and now we see that the manager permissions are active we can now give our discount of 25 percent since our managers limit is 50 percent the maximum discount that can be given on a total discount works in a similar way we are logged on as staff member 12 Jim Smith and our manager privileges are no. We'll try to give a total discount of 15% and we know his limitation is 10 and it tells us so here. Jim then gets the manager to approve the transaction so that we can give a 15% total discount on this transaction. There may be some cases where we do not want to allow any discount for certain items in our store. For example, this item, at the present time, we can give a discount of 10%, and it takes it fine. Let's reset that and go change the setting for this line item. We'll take a look at the retail card, retail item card for this item. 
and scroll down to the POS settings and check the no discount allowed box. Say OK. Now, if we try to give a discount to this item, we get a message saying that no discount is allowed for this item. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part three of the manual discount series, where we'll explore requiring our cashiers to enter reasons when giving discounts.